We're here at the beautiful Native Oaks Golf Club on hole number 17. I'm here again with my friend Gabo. We're going to play the hole and show you some tips on how to play it, um, where you want to hit the ball, so you have your best chance at making a par, or maybe even a birdie. Gabo, you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. In golf, everything is about the gray area. In this next series, we're here on the back night at Native Oaks Golf Club. We're going to show you some tips on how to play the course to have more fun out here. I'm here with my friend Gabo. Gabo, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do it. So hole 17, we're playing from the blue tee box. It's 375. We need to get the ball up past some trees that are on the left-hand side, yep. where there's also some water. Um, so we want to hit at least like a 350 yard, 250 yard shot. But this one is another hole where you need to kind of step up and make a confident swing. Right, there's water left. You have a little, little bail out to the right, but if you go too far right, it's, it goes down into some junk as well. So we get up here, confident swing, about 250 yards from the blue tee, and you're gonna find yourself in a good spot. Yeah. All right, so as I look into the distance, there's, most of the time there's some, some kind of like, uh, like hay looking grass mm -hmm. out in the distance just below the tree line. Yep. That's usually a, a great aiming spot, right? For somebody who's going to hit a cut, maybe left side of it, yep. and you finish up towards the rocks on the right side, mm -hmm. right? I'm going to more aim at the right side of it and probably end up more towards the middle. Yep. Um, but it just gives you that room to that wiggle room. <laughs> All right, let's follow that with my big stick. Um, so for me, like you said, it's it's definitely a, a hole where you got to think about it. Um, you got to commit to it, and for me. Just, I'm thinking, I'm looking at that big tree, and I know my ball's gonna fade. Uh, I know I got plenty of room. Yep. And then I uh, just commit to literally trying to hit it through the tree. And Love then it. I know that I'm gonna commit to the shot. Yeah. And if I try to hit a fade, like we talked about it, it fades too much, so I'm gonna literally try to hit it through the tree. So, it should, work out, it. should work out pretty good. I love the confidence. Yeah, just a little. Perfect. Okay. Know your swing. Know your swing. <laughs> know your shot. We're in the fairway. I like it. Um, I found the fairway, 140 yards into the wind. I was in between if I hit a hard wedge, kind of draw it in there. I like the that I have, I don't have to go over the water. Correct. But now that I see the wind, um, I don't think it's going to get there. So now I have a decision. I think I'm going to go to nine. Yep. But then uh, what do you, what, what do we, we're looking into in some shots. So from that point, now I'm looking at my yardage book and seeing the shape of the green, right? And where that pin is, it's just a little bit left to center. Okay. And looking at the way the green's sloped, yes, I agree, you know, normally you don't want to hit over the water if you don't have to. Mm -hmm. But if we actually end up a little bit left of the pin, yep. now we have an uphill putt Got for it. our birdie. Okay. So that's why you have wedge, and I was like, oh, wedge. I looked at it and said, actually the nine, because you're not shaping with the hill, you're probably now coming back into it. I love it. I think that gives you a better, I like it. better shot in for birdie. I like it. Yeah. So I'll just go with my nine iron. Um, this is a stock probably like 145. Um, I think it's perfect with the wind because I'm gonna try to maybe fade it a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. I think it should be really good. And I'm gonna put an aggressive swing. So yeah, I like it. Give me the number. That's what we're talking about right That's there. what we're talking about. <laughs> good decisions. Yep. And we play I to love your it. strength, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, no, that was good. Okay, so I hit what I thought was a perfect tee shot um, and kind of forgot that the, the fairway slopes back down towards the water. I hit a really good three wood that had a nice little draw on it, yeah. but I just caught the slope and ended up <laughs> almost in disaster. We're up, we're gonna hit it. We're gonna try and get close. Um, but just something to keep in mind. Probably want to keep it back 100 yards from the green so you don't have to worry about it as much. It, the fairway's a little flatter if you get back just a little bit further. So, so I'm about 62 yards away. I'm actually gonna take a sand wedge so I don't have to swing as hard and almost hit a long pitch shot into the green. I like that. So I don't want to take a full a half swing or anything with a lob wedge. You to balanced, you don't want to fall in the water. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm testing the ground so I don't, hopefully don't fall in. I'm going to choke up on it, put my weight a little bit on the left side so I can get a good strike on the ball, aim a little bit right of the hole actually. And you know what? 
It's not next to the hole, but I'm happy with that. Oh, on the green putting, not in the water. All right, John, so we both found the green. Um, we got a great chance of birdies. We already went past the hard part, which is getting on the green. Yep. Now, this green, like you said, doesn't look like there's severe slopes. Um, because we have water, is there something that we need to pay attention to in terms of the, of the slope here? Well, I think the slope on this one is kind of like we said from the fairway. Right? There's kind of a ridge right in the middle. Mm -hmm. And it tends to go actually towards the back. Yeah. Which is a little I can odd. See that, yeah. It's a little bit of a, a deceiving green. Yeah. So that's what I would keep in mind is that the lowest point is at this back left corner. Yep. So the odds would say that the ball should fall that way a little bit. Okay. I don't think there's very much in it though. Okay. For me, anytime that I have uh, five steps or five yards for me, like I'm like, it's green light. I'm gonna, I wanna be aggressive. I wanna make sure that I definitely give it a chance for to go in. So I'm gonna take it a little bit. I'm just, yeah, just like a cup left. Break, come on. Oh, Ooh. that was a good roll. Oh. That was a good roll. Man. All right. All right, we'll take a four. We need some birdies. So I'm looking, I'm going just a little bit up the hill. The front of the screen looks a little higher, so it should fall a little bit to the right. But let's see if we can put a good stroke on it and get a little lucky. Get up there, get up there again, get up there. Oh! oh. <laughs> that was mean. That was brutal. <laughs> that was brutal. That was a good That's putt. a good one. <laughs> so, hole 17, um, pretty challenging from the tee box, definitely. You gotta yep. put it on the on the short grass. Absolutely. Uh, once you get it on the tee, I mean, the balls are rolling perfectly. You yeah. got a good chance for birdie. Yeah, exactly. You know, one thing to note, right? Found my ball in a bad spot. Didn't go for too much. Just played what, what I had, what I could do, and. Got it on the green and bang my par. Guys, come so. out here. Beautiful weather. Native Oaks Golf Club. Come and enjoy this beautiful golf course. We'll see John. you soon. Let's go.